at you with yet another DJ Brew Tube Beer Review. You see the Duclaw beer in front of you. You see the Ravens hat and the crab on the shirt. So you know what time it is. It's time to go loco. That's right. Time for some Maryland beer today, baby. And what beer do we have? Like I mentioned before, we got a beer from Duclaw Brewing Company out of Baltimore, Maryland. US of A. Yay, yay. And we have their Coco Fuego or Chocolate Fire. And why are they calling it Chocolate Fire? Because their description is that this beer is a chocolate chipotle stout. And it's a seasonal serving. 7.5% ABV and 85 IBUs. For ingredients in this beer, they're using Pacific Jade Hops, Pale Malt, Crystal, Black, and Roasted Barley. Num, num. Now I suspect at 7.5% ABV, they're basing this one maybe like an American stout base. And they're using the chipotle as the adjunct to give it its fuego component. So, this beer originally was called Hero 2012, which is their charity contest that they haven't done since 2012 that I know of. And this was the winning beer in that. I've had said beer, and I still have a bottle of said beer in my cellar, of course, because I'm a freaking beer hoarder, aren't I? Yes, you know all about that, don't you? You've seen the beer trades. Anyway, so, I had this on tap at the pub on release day. That's why we have said pint glass and swag. Mm -hmm. And it's saying drink the revolution, Coco Fuego. Right, well, as you know, I'm not a big fan of these beers on tap. I think their flavor's muted at the pub itself and I enjoy them more out of the bottle. This beer is no exception. Um, perfect bottling date right on the on the bottle here. At time of review, this beer is about three months old. Why? Because I didn't get around to it, not because I didn't want to drink it or anything. But um, I've had this beer as Hero. I enjoyed it. I kind of enjoyed it at the pub, but I could taste for whatever voodoo that goes on at the pub there with the, either its beer temperature or the glass sanitizer. The flavor just tasted muted. So I'm going to stop flapping my gums, pop the pop top, bleh, pop the pop top on the Coco Fuego here, get in the glass and tell you what's up. Now you will notice I'm not using the pint glass. Why? Because this is a stout and I want to get a better sensory experience on this than the uh, pint glass can provide. So I'm going to use a Duclaw snifter. So I'm sure that Duclaw won't mind that I'm using their Devil's Milk snifter. that I also got at another release party. Now, Devil's Milk is a beer that actually tastes pretty darn good, I think, on tap. So let's see if we can get ahead on this bad boy. Pour it tall. There we go. There we go. Seen some other guys pour this and they didn't get any head. Guess what? You pour it right, no problem. So. Sort of a Coca-Cola cola sort of uh, looking beer. It's pretty much pitch black. I don't see any light coming through. I'm holding up to the light and trying to get it. We got a solid two finger head. Real soap sudsy crown on this head. Super tight bubbles around the side. It's a dark khaki colored head and a black bodied beer. It's living up to its stout reputation how it should look. So, let's get a nose on this if Mongo head that I poured on it will allow me to do so. Let's see what's up in the aroma department. Chocolate, smoky chiles, chipotles, if you don't know, chipotles are smoked chiles, okay? And they make them in Mexico. My family's act family actually makes some of them down there. Mm -hmm. So I've had chipotle many, many times. And that's right, I am saying chipotle. If you think I'm saying it weird, learn some Spanish, guys, because that's how you pronounce chipotle, not chipotle or anything like that. It's chipotle. Hmm. Learn it up. Anyways, okay, a little bit of spiciness from the chili, chocolate. Um, caramel, a bit of toffee, coffee, and that nice smokiness resounding in the background. It smells almost like a golf beer. Really tasty, or, or tasty kind of aroma. It makes me want to drink it up. Cheers, guys. I guess I'm going to drink the Revolution now. Ole. Nice. Just as I remember it. And the Hero, very close to what I can remember from the Hero taste. That's been two years ago, though. Um, up front, chocolate. After that, actually a bit of coffee. And then you're getting the Chipotle. It's not a big heat in this beer. I drank, at this point, a lot of chili beers. And this is not like a gimmick sort of chili beer. This has been put in as an adjunct. I'm getting more smokiness, but I'm getting like the fruitiness of chipotle is actually in the background when you, you eat them. Up front you get smokiness, and then followed by that you actually get a bit of like fruitiness to them as well, and then after that you get heat. Chipotle's a, a, their self and their a, like adobo sauce that they're in can be quite spicy at times, but this isn't that, that kind of spice. The head settled down now. Yeah, this is a tasty well-made beer. 
It's a little thin on the body, but it is, it is an American stout. It's almost like a, an imperial porter thickness in the mouthfeel. I'd give it like a, a medium mouthfeel. we got nice glass lacing. I'm going to swirl. i got some room to swirl now. You are getting some alcohol legs and really nice glass lacing, actually. And the aroma is about the same. I was getting good sensory, even though the head was big. But that is a tasty beer. It's well made. It doesn't have a huge amount of flavor notes in it. The dominant flavor note for me... And it's not really big like a rock beer would be, like something from, you know, ex Lankala, something like that. But it's sort of a, um, a campfire smoky smoke in there. Almost reminiscent of the aroma that your clothes get when you stand by a campfire. That kind of smokiness. Um, and then after that, it's just a chocolate, caramel, and toffee kind of thing going on. And a bit of coffee, too. It's a, I, I enjoy this beer. So... What do we give this for a grade? You see, I'm liking it. Plus, you know what? The alcohol is really super well hidden in this beer, too. You don't taste a bit of the 7.5%. So, what do we grade this beer? Rate Beer is giving this a 49. What the fuck? Beer Advocate is giving it 81. Now, I look back on the hero grades because I know what bullshit Rate Beer is. Back in 2012, the cumulative grade for that beer, the Hero uh, Chocolate Chipotle Stout, which is the same beer as this, they gave it a 94. Now they're giving it a 49. What the hell? You guys are complete bullshit. Get your math metrics right. What a bunch of garbage that is. Okay, how does that happen for the exact same beer? That's a bunch of crap. If you look to Beer Advocate, their cumulative grade for the whole time, and even people are still popping some of those bottles and drinking it because they sell them like I have, their cumulative grade is 86. So that's fair because 81 and 86, you can tell metrics and the people reviewing on Beer Advocate are steady and are giving, I think, less biased reviews. And you know what, Ray Beer? You know what I think of you. Anyways, guys, so what does DJ think of this beer? I'm going to give this beer, as chili beers go and as stouts go, I'm going to give it a B plus. I'm going to give it an 89, almost an A minus. Why is that? Because I think it's lacking in the mouthfeel. It would be a 7.5% ABV stout. I think it should have a little bit more body heft. But as a chili beer, okay, I'm going to grade it as that too because this is its own animal. It's a fruit and veg beer. I'm going to give it an A minus as a chili beer goes. My maximum chili beer experience that I've had so far is a Mango Magnifico from Founders. And that just fucking rocked my world, but I would actually like maybe a little tiny more chili spice in this. But all in all, the chili beer, I'm going to give it that A- minus as the, really the chocolate American stout that it is, okay, that it's billed as. It could use more chocolate, and it could use a bit heavier body, a little bit. I know it's not a Russian Imperial, but it could use a little more mouthfeel. So, to the next time, guys, that's my grade. If you've had this beer, let me know what you think about it. You know I love the quid pro quo. So... Thanks a million to each and every one of you watching, and I would give you a big-ass thanks. You would think globally, drink locally, and support the craft beer movement. So your local guys, like my locals, do claw, will keep coming out with awesome, fun beers like this that we can keep drinking and selling like crazy beer hoarders. Yeah, selling like crazy beer hoarders to see what we get out of it, man, because that's what just makes this shit fun, the variety and, you know what, diversity in the beer gene pool anyways till then thanks again and i got nothing but a big ass bunch of love for you and damn a what hell yeah peace out